Hello everyone. In today's video we are going to talk about how to install Ubuntu Server 22.04 LTS step by step. Myself Mohammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, to install Ubuntu 22.04 server, I am going to use VMware. I'll create a virtual machine in this one and then I'll install my Ubuntu server into it. Rest of the steps are same after creation of virtual machine. So no matter if you are going to install it on your VMware virtual box or you are going to install it directly onto a system. So first of all, just click on create a new virtual machine. And from here, I'll just click on next with the option of I will install the operating system later. From here, I have to select Ubuntu. So I'll look for the option and then we'll move ahead. Here I have my Ubuntu and I'll go with 64-bit as I'm using 64-bit system. After that, click on next. From here, we have to select the directory where we are going to install our Ubuntu server. I'll go with the default one, which is virtual machines. I'll just click on next. Before that, you can change your name from here as well. I'll name it as server 22.04. After that, just click on next. From here, assign the disk size for your server. I'm okay with the default one, which is 20 gigabytes. I'll just click on next. From here, I'll go with customized hardware. Here we have the RAM. I'll just increase it around five gigabytes. Then in terms of processors, I'll go with three of them. And in here, I have to select ISO image file. I'll just browse for it. Here I have my Ubuntu 22.04 server ISO file. I'll just click on it. After that, I'll just click on close. We are done with everything. And now I just need to click on this finish button. From here, we need to start this virtual machine that we have just created. So I'll just click on this power on button, or you can also go with this option that says play virtual machine. Now we'll start our installation process. Okay, from here you have two options, either you can test your memory or test your system or you can install your Ubuntu server. Obviously, we want to install it. That is why I'll go with the first option. Process has started as you can see. In a bit of time, we'll start with the configuring of our Ubuntu server. So let's wait for it to boot up and then we'll move ahead. And now as you can see, the boot process has started and it is checking everything that is to be checked at the boot time. It is checking if there are any problem with the hardware, network, hardware devices, peripheral devices, and if there is any problem with the operating system itself. As you can see, we are getting the OK status. It means there is no problem. So let's wait for it to get the, all the checks and then it will start the configuration process. OK, from here, we have to select the language. You can use your keyboard and you can go with any option. I'll go with the default one, which is English. And this English is of US. Down here, we have the one from UK. I'll go with the US one. I'll hit enter. OK, here it is asking about the installer update because there is an update available in terms of the installer of Ubuntu server. Well, I'll go without the updated installer. I'll go with the default one. So I'll select continue without updating and I'll hit enter. From here, we have to go for the keyboard configuration. I'll go with the option that are there by default and these are English. I'll go with done and from here it says choose type of install. Well, obviously we are going with the default value in case if you want to go with minimal installation, you can go from here as well. But I want to go with the default install that will contain set of packages that will provide me comfortable experience of using my Ubuntu server. So I'll go with this option. After that, I'll just go with the done option in here. And from here it is asking me about the network connection. Do not worry, just leave it as it is and press your enter key on your done. From here, it is asking about the proxy address. If you have your proxy address, it is good. If you do not, do not worry, just hit enter. Here it is asking about the archive mirror. Do not worry, just hit enter once again. Now, it is asking if we want to use the entire disk or we want to go for a particular partition or a particular section of the disk where we want to install our Ubuntu server. I'll go with an entire disk option. After that, I just go to done and I'll hit enter. 
okay in terms of moving between different options either you can use your arrow keys or you can use your tab key from here it is asking about the storage configuration i'll leave everything as default and i'll just hit enter now it is asking for the confirmation so i'll just go with the continue option and from here we have to name our machine or name our server i'll name it as zupair okay down here it is asking about the server name i'll name it as ubuntu you can name your server anything after that here it is asking about the username i'll go again with zupair down here it is asking about the password i'll confirm it and then i'll just go with the done option now it is asking if you want to install open ssh server well obviously as i'm going to use my ubuntu server it is always good to have open ssh server installed by default so i'll press space key then i'll use my tab key and i'll go with the done option now from here it is asking about the featured server snaps you can select any one of these because these are different popular server snaps available in your environment you can select any one of these or you can just go with your done option i'll just go with the done option and i'll move ahead and here it says installing system so it means it has finally started to install my ubuntu server into my system it will take little bit of time so wait for it and then we'll move ahead and at the end i'll also show you that how you can install a gui for your ubuntu server because for many of us it is not as easy task to use ubuntu server directly from the terminal we want or we need to have a gui because it makes things easier for us so let's wait for it and then we'll see how we can install a gui into our ubuntu server 22.04 we are done here with the installation of our ubuntu server and now we need to reboot our system and then we'll come back so i'll just go with the reboot option now and i'll hit enter we are back with the reboot of our system and now we just need to log in so i'll have my username and then i'll have my password and we are into our ubuntu server and we are ready to use it and here we need to update our system so i'll write here sudo apt update and i'll just hit enter after we are done with the update, I'll upgrade it as well. And then we'll be able to have our desktop environment or GUI for our Ubuntu server. Now I'll use the same command, but at the end of it, I'll just write here upgrade and again hit enter. It will take a little bit of time. Press Y, hit enter and let the process get complete. We are done with the upgrade as well. And now to install a GUI or a desktop environment, we need to install a utility and the command for that is sudo apt space install space task cell and after that hit enter. I have already done that and now we need to start this utility. Command for that is sudo space task cell hit enter. It will show you a window with different options that you can go with just like this one. So either you can download and install Debian desktop environment you have Genome, XFCE and many more. And if you scroll down, it will give you more options. I'll go with the Debian desktop environment. You can also go with the Genome because Genome is the default desktop environment for Ubuntu. So I'll select first option. So I'll press space. I'll use my tab key and on the OK, I'll press enter. It will download this one. So obviously it will take a little bit of time. So let's wait for the process to get complete and then we'll move ahead. We are done here with the installation and now we just need to reboot our system. So I'll just write here reboot and I'll hit enter. When we come back into the system, we'll have a GUI for our Ubuntu server on its own. So let's wait for the reboot to complete and then we'll see how it looks like. And here you can see now it is showing us the GUI. And now I'll just enter my password, hit enter. And it will take us to a GUI or you can say desktop environment for our Ubuntu server. This is how it looks like and if you remember we went for Debian desktop environment and this is why we are having Debian in here. Just right click here, go to your display settings and you can change your resolutions for your screen. I'll go with 1920 by 1080, I'll click on apply and now we have a display onto our whole screen. I'll just cross this one, if I press my super key, let's go to its application. So here it gives you different applications that you can use in your Ubuntu server. And that's it for this video. I hope now that you must have liked watching this one and you must have learned that how you can install your Ubuntu server in your system. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon 
आई विल गेट बैक टू यू एज सून एज पॉसिबल टिल द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टेक केयर